Hello, my butterflies. How are you? Thank you so much for choosing to listen to my voice in the Pretty Wing Magic Podcast. This is episode one of my audio journal. Excuse me, I'll say our audio journal because Pretty Wing Magic is a soul family ran business. This is me and my ancestors, my spirit team, my guides, my highest self, and my sisterhood, right? Um, They encourage me, they support me, they guide me. So they are just as um, responsible for this podcast as I am. I am simply the voice, but the experiences include them. And I thank them so much because I would not be here recording this without them. And you know who you are. So this podcast, again, is an audio journal. I will be telling stories, connecting dots, synchronicities, things like that, that have allowed me to keep the faith in this healing through entrepreneurship journey. Excuse me. Um... This will be a tool for me to be able to reflect on my growth. And as I reflect on that growth, I can make changes where need be. I can see things that I didn't see. Um, And hopefully you're able to do the same because what I've realized over these last six months is somehow we're all connected, right? Um, what they say, your, your, um, energy attracts your tribe or something like that. Um, your vibe attracts your tribe. There we go. So what I've learned is from listening to other people tell their stories, how they resonate with me and vice versa. So hopefully my intention is to be able to share my stories which will hopefully allow you to take something, whatever it is that you may need, something that you may not even think you need, but just by listening, you'll have some kind of takeaway that you'll be able to learn, unlearn, relearn, grow from, any of those things. So again, I thank you for listening. And as we get started with this first episode, um, please bear with me. Because again, I am recording on the fly. I am not a producer or any of that. I just have a love of music and a love for spirit. So we are going to attempt to intertwine those two and make wonderful, funny, encouraging stories. So this episode or this first story, this first entry I am going to um, say it started with meditation. My spiritual journey, my first spiritual awakening started with meditation and yoga as well. So here we are six months after my 39th birthday. So I was going to start with, I guess I'll still start with, this blog post, which is, you can find it at prettywingmagic.com. This was um, posted three days ago, and it's titled Matthew 7, 7. And the verse is, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. And the story that came from that verse goes a little something like this. (laughs) Last week, I had a nudge in my spirit tell me to meditate more. It felt like an SOS. It felt urgent and important. It felt like my life depended on it. 
For those that may not know, my first spiritual awakening started with meditation and yoga. It was something I kind of fell into. But this call wasn't like that. This call was very specific. I felt there was something hidden that only could be found during meditation. I ended up taking a mental note and kept it moving. I knew if I was onto something, I would get confirmation within the next 24 hours or so. The next day, I woke up and felt the need to listen to instrumentals. So I searched 999 Hertz on Spotify and found this beauty. Now this beauty is actually playing in the background. I'll turn it up just a little bit so you can hear. All right, so I listened to it on repeat all day. I made candles to it, had it in the background while I had company over, and even to, and excuse me, and even attempted to watch some TV with it playing in the background. I decided against TV and picked up my Meditation Dynamics textbook. I've had this book since 2019 and never cracked it open. After about the third page, I knew this is exactly what my spirit was guiding me to do. Fast forward to the next day, I came across this energy update meme that mentioned meditation will bring powerful insight. Now y'all, I posted this meme, it's also in the blog post. So I continued to write, that was the double confirmation I needed to take my meditation practice more seriously. Now, fast forward to this morning, I woke up and did a guided meditation with master teacher, brother C. Freeman L. He has some really good lectures on YouTube, by the way. I get out of meditation and prepare for devotion that's where I got triple confirmation that this meditation thing needs to be taken more seriously. From my perspective, today's verse is about going within and connecting with God. Ask for what you need. Listen for the answers. All you have to do is knock on the door, and by knocking, I mean meditate. Is meditation new to me? No. But I've never felt the need to force myself to be still until now. I've been asking for change, and apparently the steps needed are locked away and only I have the key. I share this with the intention to inspire you to unlock whatever door you're trying to open. I promise the answers you're looking for are already inside you. You have to get still so you can hear them. The guidance to these things you need are there too. Excuse me, the guidance to the things you need are there too. The keys to your abundance are there. The keys to your generational wealth are there. P.S. I really feel like Brother C. Freeman L. has joined my ancestor table because this all started when I binge watched his lectures last week. 
which is also a reminder to be mindful of what you consume because the energy will enter your auric field. So y'all, once I took that meditation practice more seriously, I started getting so many downloads and revelations, epiphanies, whatever you want to call them, just answers to what I had questions about. Again, this podcast, trying to figure out what the podcast is going to be, what's the structure going to look like, all those things. I was in meditation and just heard audio journal. I get out of meditation, I Google it, and there are podcasts out there that are just not just but that are audio journals like people are recording audio journals as podcasts and I said okay I see you spirits (laughs) I see what you did there so the reason why I knew that is specifically what I was supposed to do or what this podcast is supposed to be is because I've already been doing it on social media my instagram has been a journal of my downloads of my perspectives of my experiences over these last six months and i even made a a post about that like realizing that i go and share like i question myself like do i share too much of this healing through entrepreneur entrepreneurship journey Am I supposed to be this vulnerable with strangers? Because I've always been very, very reserved. I've been very, very private my whole life. So now this new journey of me sharing myself, I'm getting, I've pretty much gotten comfortable with being uncomfortable. So to get that message, the audio journal, to get that confirmation, I was like, okay, cool. That's how we got here this in this moment. But I want to, again, take you back to the last six months. So I'm going to read another blog post. This is one that I wrote. Um, actually, was it on my birthday? Um, I don't think it was on my birthday. Let me see. Uh, let me find it, y'all. So, um, again, like I said, I turned 39 this year and I knew that I was going to have to do something different, right? I knew that I would not just do something different, but be different. I knew the old Tracy could no longer exist in my new reality. So I'm going to read the post that I made. Matter of, listen, so I made this post. I thought it would have been my birthday, but this is why I couldn't find it. (laughs) So I made this post on April the 4th. And also this is um, an Instagram post that I turned into a blog post because I felt the need that I would, this was, I would have to come back to this. And I wanted to also maybe inspire somebody who does not follow me on social media. So it's titled Chapter 39, A New Reality. And I'm actually about to read this for the first time in a long time. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to read it differently than when I actually, you know, and see something that I didn't see when I wrote it initially. So it says... As I sit here on my new sofa, I realize I received the best birthday present from the universe, the gift of reflection. I'm able to reflect on how my body responds to trauma. I'm able to reflect on how my mind responds to trauma. I'm able to reflect on how my spirit responds to trauma. After my last rebirth, 
I experienced a defuck moment. I experienced my previous blog post in real time these last couple of weeks. I could probably write a book about it. I was able to acknowledge in real time what was happening in my body, mind, and spirit. I questioned it often, but couldn't put my finger on it until now. This weekend is tied to my darkest night of the soul. It's tied to what brought me to spirituality, narcissistic behavior. But this time, it wasn't just from others. It was from myself as well. These last two weeks, I've been telling my story different. The triggers hit different. They hit with love and gratitude versus broken bitterness. They hit with abundance. They hit with gifts. They hit with laughs. They hit with gourmet food. They hit with supernatural experiences. They hit this way because I was able to change my story. I was able to flip the energy. I saw how everything connected and because it all connects, I can't help but be thankful for it all, the good and what some would call the bad. I saw how everything reflected back to me. I saw the role I played in my own trauma. I saw the role I played in other people's trauma. I saw what life will be like if I stay the course. I saw what impact I will have if I stay the course. I saw the power behind my words when it comes to manifesting my dream life. I saw my next steps. I saw the protection around me. I saw the love around me. I saw the peace around me. I saw that I am enough. With this new perspective, I can adjust into my new reality respectfully, knowing I've earned my table. I've earned my crown. I've earned everything that's coming. In my new reality, I let go of depression, anxiety, bitterness, and fear. In my new reality, I have people who aren't afraid to set boundaries respectfully and people who respect my boundaries. In my new reality, I don't give two, I don't give second chances to people who aren't consistent. In my new reality, I acknowledge codependency and will continue to heal it within myself. And when I need some support, I'll light my defunct candle and go within. I'll write, I'll speak, I'll create. In my new reality, I see myself in all things and choose to acknowledge it without judgment. Ashe. And I'm here. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. In real time, I am having a my mind is blown moment. Okay. Like I said, I wrote that before my birthday. And just realizing how, like I said, going back these last six months, how all of those things really, like I, I've seen those things. I can read these, I can read this post and actually physically see how these words manifested. So now I'm going to take you to to kind of bring that home, to bring this this post home. I'm going to go into the last six months of 2021. So, um, like I said, this podcast started with meditation, my download about an audio journal, understanding that social media has been my journal the last six months 
I went back and scrolled my Facebook feed and I took some screenshots that the other night of posts that kind of just stuck out to me. So I'm going to take you on that journey of those posts. Okay. So the first post that I screenshot was from April 17th. And it's a post that I shared that says, you're being prepared at this moment to not only receive what you want, but to be the version of you to keep it and thrive in the next chapter of your life. Soon, you'll see things fall into place because you've decided to step out of your comfort zone and make big changes in your life. These risks will lead to big rewards. And like I said, y'all, stepping out of my comfort zone was getting on social media, not just, you know, posting written posts, but actually showing my face, doing videos, going live, doing those things. Have, um, those things have caused big shifts within myself. I have a new level of confidence. Um, I can really, really stand firm in my beliefs. And I can, again, reflecting on my growth of where I've been and where I am now and where I'm going, I can see my path a lot more clearly now through the through vulnerability, if I said that word right. <laughs> so my next post, April 25th, says, so I wake up this morning overwhelmed by the amount of house cleaning that I needed done. I wanted to call in to work just to do it, but I just prayed to my ancestors to send me some help. A few hours later, my sister and mama came over unannounced to clean and do my laundry. Before they left, they lit a couple of my candles and chucked up the deuces while I kept working. First of all, y'all, my house in this moment is in that same condition. <laughs> I am going to, uh, my intention is after I record this podcast to clean up my house, right? So this post reminded me one of my support system, spiritually and physically. My mom and my sister, we grew up, it was just us three. I have taken their support for granted because it didn't look how I felt it should look at any given time. But going back to this post reminds me that they always show up right on time. Sometimes it may not be when I want them to, but it's definitely always when I need them to. And that is the same for my spirit team. I may ask my spirit team for things that I want and I may not get them, but what I need I always am giving. Going back to Matthew 7, 7. So my next post was on my actual birthday, April 28th. I asked Spirit, what's the energy for my next lap around the sun? I gotta say, I can definitely feel this on a soul level. So what I did was I shared a song. It's called Zero Tolerance by Pac-Man the Gunman featuring Nipsey Hussle and Mozzie. Now, you will, you'll be able to find this song. I've created a playlist um, for this episode. So this song will be on the playlist as well as the song that's in the background playing right now. So that song literally, when I went back and listened to it um, the other morning, after, you know, I took these screenshots. I was like, let me go listen to this song. Y'all, this song is exactly what this last six months have been. Just realizing, um, you know, letting go of friends, you know, realizing how people see you, just realizing that I no longer have tolerance for bullshit. I no longer have tolerance for pettiness. Like, I am literally, like I told my sister the other day, I am pulling myself out the trenches to create a different life for myself, creating a life of rest and ease while being able to sustain myself. So I am creating this life from scratch, which again is why I'm recording these episodes so I can keep track of where I am headed or or where I've been and, and take, you know, my lessons and my milestones and celebrate my wins, celebrate my small wins. Like this episode, this is us 
it seems like it's a very small win because it's just one episode, right? There's, I'm sure I'm going to listen back and I'm going to cringe at my voice, at the words that I stumbled over, things like that. But it's such a big celebration because I'm doing it. I'm getting it out there, right? Like I've eaten, I've, (laughs) yesterday I ate so much just from, I was filled with joy and gratitude. I've actually been eating a lot this last week, but it's been healthy food, except for yesterday it was Mexican food. I love Mexican food. But anyway, I digress. So to really go back and listen to this song and see like, oh my God, this really is the energy that I've been in and not knowing, like I said, I asked Spirit to give me a song and they gave it to me and to really, really see like, oh my God, this is it. This is why I do Music Mondays. So on Music Mondays, on social media, um, I make a post and I tell people to DM me or comment below, depending on if you're on Facebook or Instagram, and I will hit shuffle on my playlist, I'm sorry, on my music library and send you whatever song comes up and let it do what it do for you and your spirit, right? So this is just an example of what Music Monday is and how spirit speaks to me and you in many forms. My main form is through music. I can listen to, I can hit shuffle and figure out, you know, where I am on a soul level, right? What energy I'm in on a soul level, what energy is around me on a soul level. Like I could legit do a whole reading with music by just hitting shuffle. I can, I've done it. Like any, my, speaking of, um, my readings, uh, I call them album releases on my website. There are, it's a service that I provide. But all of my readings come with a personalized playlist, right? So I'll hit shuffle at the beginning of your reading and I'll let it play. And then once the reading is over, I will take those songs and I will make a playlist for you and I will send it to you. Um, shameless plug, because I didn't expect to go there. I didn't expect to go there. So let me keep going because I digress. I didn't want this. I don't want this podcast to be like super long (laughs) one because my intention span is short. So I want to make these, you know, kind of like short and sweet, you know, maybe a quick drive, you know, as you commute, listen to as you clean your house or whatever. But my next post, May 18th, Lord, I said (laughs) with a T at the end, Lord, keep me humble through this glow up. I felt in my spirit something shifting i couldn't see it but i felt it and i knew where god was taking me and elevating me to i have to stay humble and grounded because that is how far i knew i was elevating like i had to ask for assistance to stay humble and i'm not ashamed to say that and i can really again going through my feed i can see how i was humbled I asked for it and I was given it. Going back to Matthew 7, 7. June 8th, a spiritual glow up in full effect, y'all. In that moment, I knew, like I said, May 18th, I knew a glow up was coming. June 8th, that glow up was here. It was in effect. So for the next few months, from June until now, I have been on Instagram sharing videos, making long ass posts of what I have been experiencing. Those posts are now blog posts on my website, Pretty Wing Magic, that you can definitely binge read at your leisure. I have videos that you can binge watch at your leisure, just to kind of explain so you uh, so you can see my growth and hopefully find something that resonates with your spirit so you can find a win to celebrate, so you can find something to learn, unlearn, relearn, grow from. So 
So here we are back to today. I've taken y'all through the last six months, putting intentions out there of what I knew chapter 39 had in store for me. Did I know how it would look? No, I knew the feelings I would have from it, but I didn't know how or when it would manifest. But I can say that through it all, right? Like even right now, as I glorify this rebirth, I can tell you it's been hell and heaven at the same time, if that makes any sense. Because during this rebirth, I quit my nine to five, have um, my, because of that, you know, my resources, financial resources ain't what they used to be. So when I say I'm digging myself out the trenches, like I'm literally having to change my mindset and believe and surrender and be obedient in spirit in order to receive the resources that I need in the way that I want to receive them, meaning through rest and ease and creation versus working a nine to five, being dead inside. Like there come sacrifices with the life that I am wanting to create. So yes, my spirit is in this moment is full, but on the outside, do I have past due bills? Yes. Will they get paid? Absolutely. Will they get paid today? No, but I know they will get paid. I know nothing will be disconnected at the end of the day. I know I have the ability to make it happen. I'm not just sitting waiting on my spirit team. I'm waiting for guidance from them on how to make it happen, i.e. how they gave me the guidance on how to make this podcast happen. So I say that to say, if you take nothing from this first episode, I would like you to think about getting in tune with your spirit, your highest self, your spirit team through the form of meditation. And there is one last thing that I want to share with y'all at the 33 mark. And then I'm going to go because I probably should have left it there. But there's one more thing that I do want to I want to share. And let me see if I can find it. So I'm going to give me one second. How about we listen to this while I find it?
hope y'all really enjoy that. I love that, y'all. I just, I love that frequency. So, this is my last post that I'm going to share. Um, this is actually on my Instagram feed. I posted May 16th. And I'm sharing it because it, it popped in my head. So, it, it may be relevant. Well, I know it is relevant. It's, again, just to... This is just the things that, okay, all right. What I heard was manifestation complete again. So this is actually a tweet that I made and I am on Twitter at Pretty Wing Magic as well. So I said, Pretty Wing Magic is a soul family. Ring. Oh, okay, y'all. This is bringing it, like I told y'all my stories. I start one, something, and then I usually go into the meat and potatoes and then I'll bring you home so this is just a reminder again what pretty wing magic is pretty wing magic is a soul family ran business I'm the physical vessel working on behalf of our angel grannies besties divine masculines divine feminines daddies mamas uncles aunties cousins etc and importantly the most high so the caption from that tweet I wrote this is way bigger than me. Chapter 39 requires me to be comfortable in the skin I'm in. It requires transparency. It requires heart. It requires humility. It requires passion. It requires receptivity. It requires objectivity. It requires attentiveness. It requires courage. It requires vulnerability. It requires support. It requires listening. It requires participation. It requires emergence. It requires childlikeness. It requires education. It requires ease. It requires perspective. And last, definitely not least, it requires grace. So as I end episode one, know that you are love, you are peace, you are enough. You are protected. And you are forever adjusting. Remember that I love you. And so does your spirit team. Be love. Be well. Be you.